Hello and welcome back to another HCART video. This time we are at PFI for round two of the BUKC. Why round two? Because someone forgot to record round one of Buckwall. My fault, I am sorry for that. But anyway, PFI, brilliant track. I only get to come here once in the year because they don't do a test day here, unfortunately. It'd be great if they did. I love this track. I'm falling in love with it as soon as I started driving it because it's so fast and flowy and it's also very long, but it's not a problem. So, coming out of the pits for our first bit of practice, 10 minute practice session, followed by a 10 minute poly. Don't get out of the car in between. But as you could see, it's quite slippery as we have almost a car park down at turn one. No, not turn one, sorry. <laughs> Just looks like the turn one, whatever. Hairpin one. And then hairpin two, there's also a bit of a mess going on there. Onto the main straight then. As we go, we're going to see more people just backing off through the first few corners. Actual turn one. There's a guy beached on the curb. He's had to get out and push. As we come through, we get a bit sideways there, but that guy gets beached, so we didn't do as bad as him. It's free wide into the first hairpin. We go go around the outside of two of them. Getting in at the practice of overtaking. This guy goes for a proper spin. All 360. This guy goes for only a 180. That guy's on the grass. And sideways. So we narrowly avoid a collision. Anyway, on to our fastest lap of qualifying then so we've got 56 seconds left means we can get our lap in we're getting overtaken but still full pelt into turn one two and three easy round the long left hander and over the bridge the guy in front of us was quite fast we managed to follow him and actually catch up to him at the end of this lap as we go down into Hairpin 1. It's good from us getting close to the apex. Better than the guy in front. Trying to stay on the drier line. The guy in front seems to be taking slightly wetter kind of line. There's a yellow flag. Not going to lose much time from it. believe the incident is clear now. Yep. So, yep, we're getting a bit of traffic towards the end of this lap. Nothing quite close. Maybe just compromised us a bit there, but this is the cleanest lap we're able to get in out of the eight that, eight that we did. We only get eight around here because it's a two minute lap. So that is the end of the session. Ended up P17 with a 116.4. And after penalties, we ended up P15, so that's very good for us. As we roll up then on the formation lap. Coming round the last few corners. We're going to be on the inside for turn one, but not for two and three. So it's going to be down to us to make the most of the earlier stage of this start. Stay nice close to the guy in front of us. Into the tram lines then. And we're going to go green. Here we go. And it's lights out. People have broken the tram lines already in the middle. Which you're not allowed to do in BUKC because you will get a penalty. Oh and there's big contact on the left. Up to P11 then. We're going to make that P10 as we dive up the inside of the guy in front of us. It's a good move there. And across the bridge and securing that position. And unfortunately that's going to be a restart. Marshalls weren't happy with that one. There was a lot of contact at the beginning. So we'll go again back into the tram lines. Here we go then. 
for the second time. Hopefully it's clean. And someone's broken the train lines already. Cleaner than last time though, a lot less contact. As we go under the bridge and up round the long left hand and someone's spun in the middle. That means that we'll go from P16 to P14. Well, from P15 to P14. Uh, I think we've got another guy on the inside and then we've got a guy on the outside of uh, Dodgy Lane. That makes us P13. Now we were behind this guy in Quali, I do believe. As uh, there seems to be a bit of a hold up around Hairpin 1. Getting down the inside into Hairpin 2 though. Quite a narrow line in though. It's not going to give us a good run out of the exit. Meaning both carts. I'm just going to creep back past us as we get force wide. Can we hold it on the inside though? Possibly? No, not quite. We'll slot back in behind this driver in the orange. Now he takes quite a wide line, so that means we can get up the inside. So wide lines are what in quality if you're trying to do a fast lap, but it does leave you quite vulnerable if you're in racing conditions. That means we're up to P12 after lap one. Now jumping forward, lap two's been quite quiet, but we've managed to catch up sort of, but that's not going to help, so we get quite a narrow exit there, and we're going to lose a position back down into P13. So as we jump forward now, we catch massively out of the final corner, so we do get P12 back, and now jumping forward a few more. We do lose another position in the last lap on lap 7 into a P13, but we gain one there on the exit, so that is back into P12. So we catch up through the hairpin. We can now get alongside into hairpin 2, get down the inside, good move there, back into P11. And we get P10 as a few drivers have an instant there. Then we've managed to catch up to the lead driver jumping onto lap 14. Big jump. We were we were sat by ourselves for quite a while, but there's been a bit of contact there slowing up the driver. That means that we're into P9. Did have quite a, yeah, as I was saying, quite a few slow kind of laps where nothing was really happening. Gonna go on to the final lap here then. This was the fastest lap that we did while we were here at PFI. It's a good lap this. Nice and quick through turns one and two. Up to turn three. Here the car squealing the tires over the bridge then. Watching the car ahead, we're gonna start to close that gap right down. He's a back marker, but watch how much that gap closes. Down into hairpin one, good. Getting near the apex, not quite touching it. And we're going to do the same around hairpin two. Bit wider, bit wider. Through the S's, making sure, keeping it nice and clean. That's always good. Round the right, long right hander. As the car in front of us kind of gets too much curve there. And we're going to get a better exit. We're not going to get past the back marker, not quite. But it doesn't matter, it was in full position. So P9, it's a really good result from us, top 10. It's where we want to be. Um, yeah, so that's the that's video. Quick one today. Uh, didn't have any other footage in the library. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, hope you're around for the next one, which will be GYG, I do believe. Where we had a bit of a blunder, not a great race for us. But oh, I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.